offensive lineman, Trey Wayne. Mike, we'll start with you on the left. Just when you enter the portal, uh, you know, what, what were you kind of looking for? And, and, and Kirk said kind of Bob Bart said kind of played a big role. Um, how important that was to you, that familiarity you had here in Miami with him, him on the staff? Yeah, I mean, it helped a lot. I was looking for an O-line coach who could help me get a lot better. And, you know, having Coach Bostad, who'd already helped me, you know, make strides, I knew I could get a lot better with Coach Bostad, so. So we have Seth on your left, and then Jack? Yeah, just what's the experience been like for you kind of integrating yourself within a new team here in Indiana? It's been good. The O-line group's real, real tight-knit crew, and we're all good guys. We hang out a lot, so it's been really good. And then Jack and then Owen? Yeah, I feel like a lot of the offensive linemen that were here, you know, the last couple of years they talked about, they, they thought the O-line really improved with, with Coach Bostad. Just with your experience with him, what do you think makes him, you know, a good offensive I think he just he makes things very clear. Like he makes things crystal clear what you need to do to get better and how you're going to get better, and you're not guessing, which is really nice. We go Owen on your right, and then Joe. Hey Trey, is there anything in particular that you've been trying to develop uh, throughout this preseason? Uh, yeah, I mean I've got weak points I've been working on. A couple things I've been trying to work on on my pass pro sets, and a couple small things in the run game. But there are things you just got to always keep working on. Yeah. I just saw how confident he was about it. He, there's no gray area. He knew. He knows what's going to happen. He's Zach on your right. You appeared in 35 games with eight starts at Wisconsin. What kind of opportunities do you think you'll have here at IU? I'll start. You know, I'll start all the games. What's that been kind of like uh, in terms of kind of generating some chemistry you know, with, with the guys in your, 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 your new teammates? How's that process going? It's going good. And with the O-line being real chemistry kind of driven position, it's been pretty good. You know, I've been working pretty good with Bray and some of the other guards that have rotated in there, and it's worked out pretty good so far. Did you know anybody coming in at all with player one? Um, so I knew Austin Barrett just barely because his older brother was at UW with me. Uh -huh. But other than that, oh, and Drew Evans, yeah, because Drew, Drew came from Wisconsin as well. So I know I knew those two guys. Yeah, yeah I think I, I read you. I mean, I feel probably more comfortable with tackle, but yeah, like I've played everywhere. And with Coach Bosad, I even played a tiny bit of center. Wouldn't wouldn't go back. Anything else? Yeah, Zach on your right. With Mike Kadick being an older guy who's been here before, how has he helped you with this transition? He's helped me just like integrate in. It's been good because, you know, he understands how it is sometimes and he just – we can be able to talk at a high level, high level football wise. It's been good. Seth on your left. Uh, Carter Smith was a younger, younger player. He really took some steps last year and came mm -hmm. in with uh, some after making progress last year. Just I'm curious what you've seen from him this spring and what kind of impresses you about him. It impresses me how well he can move. He's a real mobile guy, which is pretty rare sometimes for offensive linemen. Yeah, Carson Day seems to organize his practice a little differently. You know, having gone through college, you know, multiple years. Do you feel they're a little bit different practice-wise in terms of the kind of organization, no clock, and things like that? Yeah, that, the no clock is very interesting. But, yeah, it's definitely different, and it's pretty nice. It feels like we kind of get in, we get our work in, we, we get out. And it's not like – like if we waste a rep, it's kind of like on us a little bit. Like you got to take pride in that, and if you lose a rep then, you know. Time for two more. We'll go to Joe. Obviously, it's only spring practice, but have you noticed anything on the defensive line that's starting to hold you to their own? Yeah, I mean, I've seen the whole, pretty much the whole D line going and going good. JMF uh, is real good. Mikhail's really good. Marcus is like Marcus is good. Like all those guys have been really solid. And I'm I'm happy that we've got good D line in here. What are you looking for? Sorry. What are you looking for this spring? <laughs> Just looking to have fun, get better. Awesome. Thanks, Trey. Appreciate yeah. you. Thanks, guys. Thank you.